your truck, yeah, that's my choice to ride Always keep some bitches on the side, yeah, yeah Don't stand too close, my diamonds gonna bite I get drugs for the right price, yeah, yeah She gon' eat this molly like it's rice Eat it all I'ma let that lean flow through my eyes Really? Say she never What's good with everybody in the pack, gang? What's good with everybody in the pack nation? Shout out to my notification gang. And shout out to the newbies. Coming through. Y'all niggas been coming through. Y'all been coming through more than my my uh, notification gang. I feel the type of way about that. The newbies been coming through. They've been subscribing. And if you new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button. Make sure you pound the notifications, dog. And make sure you put them jumps on all, not occasional. So you can get all the videos and you can be the newest member of my note gang pack nation pack gang squat you know what i'm saying we keep it lit over here now today is a very special video for you guys man this is kind of like my wish list but it's not a wish list i know some of you guys may say click me well fuck you little nigga fuck you because i don't care all right this, this is not clickbait though it's not this is me telling my opinion how I feel like what the archetype system should be. All right, throughout this video, you will see Pack Gang all below the left hand corner. All right, so let's get into this video. Now, when it comes to these archetypes and 2K, I don't know how y'all feel, but I feel like Ronnie 2K is holding us back. If I feel like Mike Wang is holding us back, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they really are holding the boys back because to me, we are glorified role players think about it what's a sharpshooter in the nba it's like a cow corva ass nigga all he do is in the corner come off the picks don't even dribble shoots the shots some of the best players in the game right now that's how they play that's not an nba superstar you feel me now the one time 2k allowed us to be nba superstars you saw how that happened we had a bunch of demis Demi's were popping out the wazoo, popping out holes, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I blame that. I blame that on Ronnie. You know what I'm saying? I blame that on Ronnie too because he should have stopped that. They had the means to stop it, but they got scared. They got shook. They do what 2K do. They run from their problems instead of trying to fix it. Now let's 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 go back. A blast in the past, real quick. NBA 2K15. If anybody remember, just 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 think. Some of you guys may not be old enough. You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all just starting to play 2K this year. I feel sad for you, you know? You know what I'm saying? I would hate to be your ass. <laughs> so if you think about it, when you first loaded up NBA 2K15 to play your my player, there was nothing asking you what type of skill you want to be or what type of archetype you want to be, how you want to score, how you want to shoot. None of that. None of that. Only thing was there was asking you your height, your position, your weight, your wingspan, and your muscle tone. Yes, nigga, muscle tone. They can have it when you was ripped up, you know what I'm saying, cut up. You ain't had to have that beer gut, you know what I'm saying, that beer belly. You can look sexy, you can be flexing for the, for, for the thotties, you know what I'm saying? You, you kinda had the abdominals. Who the thotties, dog? Like, I'm showing you on the screen. You know, your boy kind of had to, you know what I'm saying? Like, could have pulled some of these ladies. But now, you know, you don't get to choose none of that. I mean, well, you get to choose your wingspan. You get to choose, of course, you get to choose your height, your weight, you know what I'm saying? Nickname, number, you know, where you're from, all that stuff. I don't even think they allow you to pick your dominant dunk hand anymore. Hmm, I don't think so. I know what you say, you guys are asking me, all right? You guys are asking me like, oh gee, how do you know how did you play? Like, how do you know what type of build you wanted to be, what player you was gonna be? Thanks for asking. Because all you had to do is very simple, okay? You had to play your my career. You started off, I wanna say you started off with 75 upgrades, right? <clears throat> you got the other 25 upgrades from playing my career, right? So you had six sections of attributes that you could choose from, or not really choose from, that you can add your 10 attributes on. 
So one was jump shot, inside scoring, athletic, playmaker, rebounder, and defender. Okay? So the good thing about this is that each position had a certain number of caps. So let's say your three-point shot. So if you was a center, your three points won't go all the way up to 199. You know, it was capped somewhere to fit your position. So yes, you still, I think like with centers, your standing three would be a 95 if you max your jump shot out. But it's give and take. So what a lot of people did is a lot of people omitted certain sections. Like me, when I made my player, I think I did jump sh shooter, inside, athletic, playmaker, didn't put nothing on rebounded, maxed out defender. Okay? That's what I did because I was a uh, shooting guard. Right? A lot of people didn't did that. A lot of people mixed and matched their stuff. And that determined your archetype. And it also determined your overall. Because if you mix and match every si like all the six sections together, you was not going to be a pure 99. You'd probably be like a 96, 97 at max. After your 100 attributes, upgrades are gone my nigga that was it that's your nigga go ball out you feel me that, that's how they did it and i feel like we should kind of go back to that that era in time when it comes to the archetypes you know what i'm saying i feel like 2k is scared of that because that's when you saw a lot of op players a lot of op builds a lot of op not even builds like there was no builds. it was just a lot of op players if you knew how to work it you knew how to manipulate the system, you know what I'm saying? You was getting buckets, and you was hanging with the big boys, you feel me? So the upgrades pick your player. So whatever you upgraded in the sections that you chose, that determined your archetype, which I thought was the coolest things. Well, our archetypes were different. Some people be a two-way superstar. Some people be all around uh, point guard. Some people be all around two guard. Some people would be like a rebounding center. You know what I'm saying? Some people was like a lockdown paint protector. I, I don't know. But having that aspect in the game made the game lit. That's what made NBA 2K so lit. Think about it. Not the Jordan damn wreck. Not the mascots. What made it lit is that your player felt like an NBA superstar. And it scared 2K because we had Thousands and millions of NBA superstars at the park. And one thing that you couldn't do in NBA 2K15 <laughs> was play defense. No one was playing defense. My guy, no one was playing defense. I don't care what nobody says. Nobody was getting shut down. You can shoot in niggas' faces. You can dunk on a dude chest to chest. You can do highlight plays. You can cross niggas over. You know, some of the dribble moves were cheesy back then. But hell, it was fun. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like... 2K19 should kind of steal this method and kind of add something into it. Now, me, I would like to add something like more mental. So, you know what type of player your guy is. So, you could be like, I want my guy to be a conservative player. He could be a, he could be like a Kawhi Leonard. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be a beast, but he ain't doing none of that flashy bull. You feel me? Or I want my dude to be the flashiest of the flat. I want him to be a Vince Carter when he go for a dunk. 360 in between the legs. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no Kawhi Leonard with the corn rolls. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I feel you. But I feel like that should be in the game. Where you can pick from conservative, balanced, and flashy. They should give you like examples when it comes to like dunking. When it comes to like shooting. Or when it comes to like dribbling. That helps that helps us out, like, because in dribbling section, like, if you are a dribble guy, quote unquote, it's easier to get the ball plucked from you. Look at Steph Curry. When Steph Curry is out there dribbling and stuff, sometimes a lot of people knock the ball away from him because he's doing a lot. You know what I'm saying? He's not really being protective of the ball. Then look at a dude like, let's say Mike Conley. He's not saucing niggas up, but he can get you out the way. With a nice decent move and still get into a shot. More conservative guy. And then there's people like in the middle. Probably like a Dane or a Kimber Walker. Who they ain't out there every time trying to break your ankles. But when it's time to get saucy. <laughs> them niggas open the can. You feel me? So I felt like that can work. And when it comes to the shooting aspect of that. It can be like a Steph Curry who just shoots recklessly. He's catch, shoot, catch, shoot, catch, shoot, clay, catch, shoot. 
Well, I say Clay is a little bit more balanced because he 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 will pump fake, wait till he get open and shoot. But Curry don't care. He pulling at you. If he if he looking at the basket and it look good to him, nigga, it's a, always a green light. Or it can go be like somebody like let's go back to Mike Conley or a Kawhi Leonard who's very cautious in picking his shots. You know what I'm saying? Well, not really a Kawhi. Kawhi's a goat. He he got dead eye on Hall of Fame. So. We just gonna stick to we just, we just gonna stick to Mike Conley on that one. So I feel like that would actually bring another layer to this archetype system or lack of archetype system. The way I'm saying it, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to be a glorified uh, role player no more. I'm tired of this. Like there's there's no reason for us to have to choose to be Vince Carter or no no not even Vince Carter. Let's stop. It. Froby. Oh, this is Kobe with the fro, my nigga, with no jump shot. We either have to be Froby, Cal Corver, like even with the even with the the two archetype system, it, it still feels like we're not at the level where we should be, like NBA 2K15 was, dog. If you if you agree with me, comment down below, like it up. You feel me? Now, if they want to incorporate like the badges, I feel like the badges should help us determine what type of archetype we should be too. You know what I'm saying? If I want Hall of Fame ankle breaker and I'm a center, guess what? I, I would be more like a Anthony Davis type center. You know what I'm saying? Just I'm just throwing shit out there, dog. It's just that I just want to be I just want to be LeBron. You feel me? I want to go to the court being feeling like I'm LeBron, feeling like I'm Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Feeling like I'm Michael Jordan, dog. Like I'm tired of being handcuffed and being Kyle Corbett. You know what I'm saying? Or being J.R. Smith, my nigga. I'm trying to be. The GOAT. <laughs> I'm trying to be a demigod. You feel me? I'm trying to do all that. I know you guys feel the same way. So let me know down below in the comments what you guys think, man. I, I'm just rapping. You know, that's what I do. You feel me? Um, if you got any other layers of how this should be made in NBA 2K19, how the archetype system should go, because really, I really don't like the archetype system. I don't like the two archetype systems. I didn't like the old one. I don't like the inside outside balance. I like it. Give me my player, raw prospect, and let me go from there. This has been your boy, yo, G. Until the next time, I'm out. Peace. What's the problem? What's the blood? In the arm, in the blessings. In the dark, in the blessings. In the mud, I'm in the mud. In the jars, I'm in the dirt.